Tomorrow you have the chance to speak with a finalist for superintendent of Duval County Public Schools. Thank you for staying up late with us. I'm Riley Phillips. The finalists are Chris Bernier, a former superintendent from Lee County Schools, and Daniel Smith, a chief of staff for a district near Washington, D.C. On your side, Zach Wilcox joins us live now from Everbank Stadium. And Zach, parents will be heading there tomorrow. Yeah, Riley, it should be really interesting to see all these parents in there with the finalists here, a chance to ask their questions, meet the finalists, and then share their two cents with district leaders. And we talked with a couple of parents today who are out celebrating Mother's Day just to see some of the things that are on their superintendent wish list. We came out here for something new and different. Ashley Cameron moved her family to Jacksonville from Detroit to get away from snowy winters. After a year with a superintendent resigning, issues over teacher conduct at Douglas Anderson, and rumors over possible school closures, she has one hope in mind for the new superintendent. Less um, drama, maybe that would be good. Once the new superintendent does settle in, parents like Cameron have a few policy issues in mind. I want the kids to be able to express themselves with their, um, with their clothing. I know they understand, I understand the uniforms. Um, it's kind of hard for parents like myself to get uh, uniforms for the kids. I would definitely like to see them broaden the selections um, for special needs children. Duval County Public Schools sent out a survey when it had six semifinalists but only received 22 responses. With more than 100,000 students in the district, School Board Chairman Darrell Willie is hoping a meet and greet at Everbank Stadium will encourage more parents to share their thoughts. Really get that up close and personal so when they do fill out that survey, it's real, it's intimate, it's like I got a chance to shake his hand, I got a chance to, to ask my question and here's what they said. And that's what I'm going to be checking for at the end of the day. Cameron doesn't want to miss the chance to meet the two finalists, Chris Bernier and Daniel Smith. One of them will have quite the role to play in her daughter's education in her new school district. I think we're going to definitely be in attendance. All right, so here's what you need to know about tomorrow night. It's at Everbank Stadium. That's the first thing. It starts at 6 o'clock. You can park in Lot C. You don't need any reservations. And the biggest thing is that it is absolutely free to parents. And then after that, the district will have a chance, the board members will have a chance to talk with uh, these candidates one-on-one -on -one and ultimately make their decision the Thursday after next. So a big vote coming up here in the next couple of weeks. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.